welcome in. I am doing another review. Now this has come early because as far as I was aware, this magazine doesn't come out until the 22nd of the month. Well, I got this on Monday, which was nineteenth of April. Now all I have done is I cut the top and I put it on the side and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting until today to do the review for you. I did see one little bit because that bit I ended up partially cutting it. So I saw part of it but I have no idea what's in the magazine, what's on the magazine. You are seeing things that I'm not seeing right now, but I will look now. <laughs> so what we've got, Rowan. I love Rowan. I love Rowan. Rowan, 12 stylish projects, summer pattern book worth £11.99. I'll be the judge of that. Well, you know, a lot of people will be the judge of it, but we'll see. Okay, so I have the main magazine. I have the little Canuck. I have Crochet Your Own Pusheen the Cat Blanket. That is so, so crazy poppy lady. I don't mean that looks like her, I mean that's her style of things. I'm trying to get this other one out. So much crinkling. Aren't you glad I'm not that near the mic? I hate all this plastic rubbish. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, so I'm going to do the little bits first. So we've got, like I've just shown you, the pusheen weirdly as a unicorn with rainbows and eating a donut very odd very odd but it's a chart corner to corner crochet chart humongous does it say how big it is it's got to doesn't it using a four millimeter dk beginner friendly 130 by 210 And you're using Starcraft for this one. 9, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Only 20 balls of wool. 295 metres per ball. So that's that. Not my type of thing. But let me down, know down below... Is that something that I ought to put in a giveaway or just throw away? Because maybe there's people out there that would like to give it a go and have a hand copy. Maybe? Let me know down there. Next little thing. We have the Hook and Nook 8 Modern Designs exclusive to Crochet Now. Let's have a look. I think somebody's going to be doing some hand knitting, huh? Or did she just hide the cat? She's definitely hand knitting. Say hello to Jess Jessica Carey. She's the founder and designer for the Hook Nook. To get to know her and her brand better. It's a little question and answer thing. I love that. I know my camera's blurring it out. I know. You don't need to tell me, I know. So, little question answer thing. Beautiful wall. Pattern for the turning point triangle scarf. It's a cowl, isn't it? Do you work on your scarf? Give yourself the allowance for exploring, exploring your thoughts, exploring your memories, exploring yourself as a human being. Uh, 
Well, that's using one, two, four, four balls of chunky. And bulky using a 6.5 millimeter hook. The Grace Ruffle Beanie. Interesting looking beanie. Not the cat. Spelling's completely wrong. Two balls of Starcraft for that. And that's uh, bottom up. I'm not keen on bottom ups. Jacinta scarf. A lightweight breezy scarf for like the the summer months. Mm -hmm. A lot of crochet designers dream of publishing their own book, and last year Jessica did that with her collection of thoughtful meditative meditative patterns and essays. That's showing. I like, I like the head wrap warmer. I like that. It's not a my kind of thing because my hair's way too thin, but I like it. The Riley scarf. Using four balls of bulky chunky. Another lightweight beanie, the moody beanie. I have a very moody beanie too. Moody bean as a play on Harry Potter love as well as the hues of the colorway. Moody is about to take over and I am ready for it. That uses main squeeze one 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 two two balls in peacock feathers. So one ball in worsted weight. And that's bottom up to the penny scarf. I quite like that. It's all bubbly. Bubbly. I like I like textured stuff. Bubbles, beautiful yarn and a fun relaxing pattern. Sign me up. This easy and fun scarf pattern is a perfect on the go project that works up quickly. Three balls of worsted weight. Serendipity poncho. Using a squishable yarn, not just any yarn, a squishable one. Five balls in bulky. And the last one, the Dotty Infinity Scarf. It's a shame my camera blows it out so much. Mm. With easy but frequent stitch changes, Dotty Infinity Scarf is the perfect project to keep you interested throughout the creative process. Five balls of worsted weight. There's that. Two down, two to go. So is this all ooh, it's actual patterns? Summer crochet. So I don't know if these are the ones that are in there, but I'm about to find out. But I do like a couple of those. Mm. 
Let's see. Summer crochet. We're going to be doing those. So the first one that's in here is, I can't show you that page. The first one is this cardigan. Lightweight, nice neckline. I do like a plunging neckline, I do. So we've got that. Um, sizing's fit bust. Using Rowan cotton cashmere and a size four hook. So you're using between 12 and 14 balls, 50 gram balls to make that. I would say that for 50 gram balls, that's pretty good going. I'd say it's pretty good going. Oh, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind making this. I wouldn't mind making that. This is um, quite lovely. And the, the flowers on it are 3D. And I can't show you because the pattern's all around it. So I've got to be really careful. Can't show you any of these. Is there anything that I can show you in here? New crochet hooks! <laughs> Wooden ones. New crochet hooks by Rowan. We're delighted to introduce crochet hooks to our range of Rowan accessories. A great addition to our developing assortment of crafting essentials like our needles the Rowan Birchwood hooks Birchwood, are manufactured from FSC certified wood sourced from sustainable forests well done Rowan they are a delight to work with extremely light with a smooth finish and a sorry and a warmth and softness to the touch, the super smooth birchwood handle does not contain any lacquer and wears exceptionally well over time, while the metal hook makes creating crochet stitches effortless. The hooks come in a range of 14 sizes from 2mm to 10mm and can be purchased individually or as a full set. Yes, please. Lovely. So I can't show you any of the patterns whatsoever. One second. Sorry. Can't show you any of the patterns, but I will show you the back again a little bit slower to show you what can be made. There you go. I quite like this as well. So there's that. <laughs> and now for the main event, huh? The magazine. Okay. So how much does this retail for? Six pounds ninety-nine. It doesn't. It normally says euros or well, I guess we're not in European Union anymore, so it wouldn't say that. But normally on magazines they tell you the euros or the dollars, and this one doesn't. So I can't help you there. Sorry, international people. Sorry. Starcraft, hundred percent organic cotton. Okay. Oh, there's something blue and I quite actually like it. So in the last magazine there were 
two items that I was keen to make. Let's see how many are going to be in this one. So we have like the idea of the, the teething ring. Oh, I want that book. <gasps> I want that book. Oh my gosh, I want that book. Someone remind me. Stick it on the Amazon. Oh, I want that book. I wish I hadn't really gone onto that page. Ugh. I won't show you because I don't want it in my video. I don't want it in my video. Okay, so first pattern up. The Parisian plait wrap. So this is using a four ply, it's an intermediate pattern, using one ball of Hobie Cotton King's Twirls, which is 800 metres of pure 100% cotton, and using a 3.25 hook. The Wee Jumper. Is this a fabulous beginner friendly and fun to crochet children's jumper you've been looking for? Wee! This says it's beginner friendly. It's using Rico Essentials Merino Plus DK. And it's between five and 11 balls depending on the sizing using a four and a 4.5 millimeter hook and it's in three pieces Advert. i i quite like this i do quite like it I know it's blue and I'm bound to like anything blue, but I do actually like that because, like I said earlier, it's texture. 25% off your yarn? Yes, please. Bijou blanket. Bijou means jewel, reflecting the diamond shapes that are created when the hexagons join together in this rich blanket. It's something new to try. It's using 13 balls, it's one three, of paint box yarns, Simply DK, using a 4.5 millimetre hook. And it's a 130 by 156 centimetre blanket. 59 hexagons and eight half hexagons. I really like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Do you think Lisa likes it? Stay with me. So how do you oh okay? Win a year of yarn. By completing a survey. A history of Irish crochet lace. Ooh. This is something I haven't looked properly into yet because it's a little bit overwhelming. But it is so beautiful. It's just like 
a huge mishmash of art and like nothing makes sense but when it comes together it all makes sense it's lovely This is for people that are adventurous with their crochet. So the patterns in this are the leaf, the mesh, the chrysanthemum and the Irish rose. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight balls of 100% cotton twenty-five grammable to make these. Still intimidating for me, but beautiful. Okay, so this is not an American thing. This is the UK little thing of making hats. And I will show this. Making the little hats for the smoothie bottles for charity. Especially for Age UK. Quick, easy, and very cute. And great for if you've got scrap wool lying around. Sapphire beret. The rich jewel tones of the ship Scapier's yarn used in this stylish hat are the inspiration behind its name. It's beginner friendly. And it uses four balls of scapiers at 200 meters per ball with a three millimeter hook. Print Temps cardigan. A pretty springtime cardigan is a must have for everyone's wardrobe and we love the pastel chevron design on this month's cover star. It's for those that are adventurous and it uses between 9 and 13 balls, 50 gram a ball of four ply. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook and it's made in three pieces. Adverts. Okay, I can show this, I think, I think. This is something that is way down on the list for me to show, but I'm more than happy if you guys want it. She's showing you how to do the bar stitch. And she said it's especially for people who like using variegated yarns because if you're using some stitches the stitches get lost in the colour or the colour gets lost in the stitches and the bar stitch is especially one for variegated walls that you know help it stand out 
Clarissa the Carousel Horse. Capture the magic of classic ornate carousels with this cute toy that features all the little details you can remember. I don't remember there not being a pole for its back. This is for an intermediate using four ply and a three millimeter hook. And it's also using the patterns 100% cotton four ply. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls, 100 gram balls. <laughs> and I'm sorry for all the vibrating you can hear. My phone's going nuts. Don't they know that I'm recording a video? Oh. oh, so cute. Can I show its bum? Can I show its bum? Oh. Oh. Eiffel Tower wall hanging. Hook up this impressive wall hanging to bring a touch of Parisian style into your home. It's using a fingering weight yarn and a three millimetre hook, something to take your time over. It's using scapiers. One, four, five, six, seven, eight skeins, 50 gram balls of organic soft cotton. It's impressive. Impressive. Nothing. Reasons why we must keep crafting. Love the little helper with the ball in between his paws. Very cute. If only it were that cute when it happened. Can you see the rainbow? Over the rainbow cushion. Bring in a little brightness to any cloudy space with this adorable cushion pattern. Using DK weight and a 3.7.5 millimetre hook. I'm sure they mean 3.75, not 3.7.5, but you know. It's beginner friendly. It's using King Cole Comfort DK. One, two, three, four, five, six balls of 100 gram. And it's in three parts. And the back looks like that. I won't mind that in blues. Blue, silvers and whites. <gasps> and the cowl begins for that beautiful, 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 beautiful blanket. Beautiful. Using Sport or DK, a 3.5 or a 4 millimeter. It's to learn something new. And for this part of the cowl, you need 11, 15. Oh, heck no, this has got to be for the entire lot because there's oodles. Oodles. oodles of them. I'm not going to count all them up. But you can buy the complete pack to make that from the Wool Warehouse or Black Sheep Wools. Both of those I like. Wool Warehouse is my go-to and if they haven't got it I go to Black Sheep. 
or I can pair the prices between the two. But that cow has started. It has begun. Show us your makes. Love that walrus. That's really cute. Adverts. Lots and lots of colourful colourful <laughs> crochet now this is how I know crochet to be the granny squares and the bright colours that don't coordinate that is how I first knew about crochet and it's really not my thing really not but I know it's many people's speckled cowl the combination of dots and stripes gets Emma every time and Linen Stitch is her all-time favourite by keeping the palette down to five colours as ordered to this contemporary cowl. So that's using an Aran weight and a 6mm hook. It's an intermediate pattern. And one, two, three, four skeins of West Yorkshire Spinners of the Croft Shetland Colours Aran is used for this 100 gram per ball oh, I like this. oh you know the colors all wrong for me you know what i'd want to make it in but this is my first oh i want to make that So this is a Bernay blanket, four balls, and it's 130 to 155 centimeter in size, using an eight millimeter hook, four balls of chunky at 300 gram a ball. I like that a lot. We have our star sign. It's Taurus. Stitch in time. Taurus, smart, ambitious, and trustworthy. This super cute Taurus, Amigurumi, is sure to be a firm friend for years to come. It's adorable with his little cowbell. Using a DK and a three millimeter hook. And it's using Dermore Studio DK in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven colours, 100 gram ball each. Very, very adorable. So, so cute. So, so cute. Looking at a designer and their makes. I mean, minute, 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 minute. <gasps> There's something else I'm going to be making, wanting to make from here, which I'll show you in a moment. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And we turn the page, the right page. You know I want to be making it. And it's beginner friendly. Ladybug granny square pillow. How dare they say ladybug? How dare they? They're in the UK. They're promoting the UK and they go and call it ladybug. Inspired by one of Raphael's first granny square designs. We're sure little ones will love this cushion in their playroom. I want it in my playroom. 
using a DK and a four millimeter hook and paint box yarn, simply DK. Two, three, four, five balls, 100 gram balls. You know I wanna be making it. You know I wanna be making it. Does it show you the back? Nope, sorry. Sorry. Love it. Absolutely adorable. Adorable. You know, I'd be tempted to make the, the spots 3D so there's more texture because the flowers, the petals are out. So it'd be nice to give some texture on the spots as well. There's two things in here so far. Kerry's journal. And there's also a pattern in here for this shawl, which is nice and quick and easy. And using a six millimeter hook and three balls of DK yarn. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, I like that. Okay, so there's another one that I want. This would be really, yeah, I was, I was just about to say this would be really difficult. So this is the Magnolia Tree Wrap. Lace weight yarn, three millimeter hook using two skeins of West Yorkshire Spinners Exquisite Lace, which are 100 gram a ball, 800 meters. I really like that. I really like that. I'd want that in a natural color. I really, really like that. really like that. It's all adverts at the moment, or oh, they're not adverts. A second. young creator making budaboos during lockdown the reasons to shop local again which i did state last week this is pretty this is pretty Intermediate pattern, the Paris Blossom Cushion, inspired by the beautiful cherry blossoms that line the Parisian streets and parks in spring. This cushion would look gorgeous sat in a sunny spot. And you know I'd make white blossoms, but the rest of it, I, I really like this. I really like this. Signet DK, two, three, four, five, six skeins. 100 gram balls using a four and a 4.5 millimeter hook. I really like that. I really like that. I really like that. Details on how to read a pattern, which I think is something that we have each each month, I think along with learning the basics which I won't go over now because they're in there every single month which is really good but I don't need to tell you it every single month so I'm not look I'm not looking I'm not looking I'm not looking no 
the next bit is the next issue i don't want to know i don't want to know I don't want to know helen kurtz a starcraft lets you know about her favorite yarn And that is that. So I think there were either two or three in there that I I wouldn't mind making for me, if not one of them to make twice for other people as well. But that is this month's. So I really like the cushion. I really like the wrap. And I really like the flowery shawl. Was there something else? I can't remember. Oh yeah! The ladybird bird cushion. So four things from this month. Interesting, interesting. Remember, let me know down below about what I asked you earlier. Let me know down below. I'll leave you with that. I'm going to have a think. Gosh, getting these magazines, it doesn't half make the shopping list pricing go up. One day. Not a bad mag. Not bad. Was the pattern magazine worth 11 99 Probably not. Knock a couple of quid off. The magazine itself... I'd say it was dead on worth it this month. But that's that. So maybe I'll see you next month for the next one. Hmm.